Welcome to day five. Today is about making ChatGPT even easier to use. Our friends at Apple are releasing uh, the ChatGPT integration in iOS for iPhone and iPad and also on macOS. We really want to make ChatGPT as frictionless and easy to use everywhere. We love Apple devices, and so this integration is one that we're very, very proud of. You can use it without an account. If you have an account, it'll be even better. And I think we should just jump right in and show you how it works. Yeah, cool. So, so this is Dave. I'm Dave. I'm from the engineering team. Um, as Sam says, we love Apple devices. I've been using one for 30 years. Um, on lots of Apple devices. Wow, me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on lots of Apple devices now, uh, you will be able to invoke ChatGPT directly from the operating system. So this will work on iPhone, on iPad, and on Mac. Uh, we've got three different integrations starting today, and we're going to show you all of them today. Um, the first is Siri. So when Siri thinks that it would be helped by giving a task over to ChatGPT, it can just hand it off. The next is writing tools. So writing tools in Apple Intelligence lets you refine documents and summarize them, get key points. But now you can also use ChatGPT uh, to compose a document from scratch, which is super cool. Um, and also, uh, we've got camera control on the iPhone 16, which lets you invoke visual intelligence, where you can use ChatGPT uh, to learn more about the thing that you're looking at, which is super cool. Um, so this is McDodd from the product team, who's going to show us some of this stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's open up our iPhones a little bit. So now that I have this thing up, there's a couple things that you want to pay attention to. Once you get the iPhone, the first thing is that you have to enable Apple Intelligence. So we'll go into Settings. And we will go right into Apple Intelligence and Siri. I'll enable Apple Intelligence, which I have already. And then as I scroll down, the new ChatGPT extension is now available. So cool. That says ChatGPT. <laughs> um, when we open it up, you're going to be able to enable ChatGPT, log into your account. In this case, I'm already logged in. And then there's also this option for you to confirm ChatGPT requests. So anytime, as Dave mentioned, Siri thinks, hey, this is a good idea to ask ChatGPT, uh, it will prompt you to do so before you send your information over. And then you'll also have access to the app, which you can update, install, or open directly from here. But I've got this all set up, so let's go back into our main screen. And let's, I mean, I feel like we're in a festive mood here. <laughs> yeah. Something's going on. Uh, so let's maybe get a Christmas party organized. And there's a, a quick shortcut. If you want to go directly to ChatGPT, you can just ask Siri to ask ChatGPT. So I'm going to invoke Siri, new rainbow thing shows up. Uh, can you ask ChatGPT to organize a Christmas party for us? So right away, we see the working with ChatGPT. It's going to go back and forth, and I'm going to get a response. In this case, I see a whole bunch of different things, guest list, music and entertainment. Um, Sam, any can follow we, Can we ask you for that holiday playlist? Yeah, let's do that. Can we get a holiday playlist made? And I don't know about you guys, but there's one song I'm specifically looking for. And it is number okay, one. It's on number one. It's if, number if Mariah Carey weren't there, I think we'd have to file a bug. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is a good solid list. Uh, I like it. I want to be able to like edit more in the ChatGPT app. So there's this like blue icon at the bottom that says ChatGPT. If I click on that, it's going to open up ChatGPT with all of my conversation already integrated. So cool. And I can do the normal things of saying, hey, like uh, add emoji to my playlist. And it'll do that. But I, I think what we need is a little bit more of a festive thing. So I'm That's hoping festive. this is festive. <laughs> but let's make a album art cover. So uh, let's make an album art cover. Uh, and for some reason, I don't know why, but I'm feeling as though a froge would really make it pop. Hmm. Um, I'm having the same feeling, too. Yeah. I don't know. It's something in the background. But I feel <laughs> like a froge, uh, include a froge in the cover. Do you think ChatGPT knows surely what a froge is? Uh, surely not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what comes through. And uh, we've got ourselves a beautiful. We do have faster image gen coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Always great to see this come through. Hey, hey here we go. A froge. Giant happy froge in the middle with holiday vibes. I think we've got the makings of a party. And I, as we're in already a festive mood, I'd love to like get the visual intelligence part of this rolling. Um, I think we should have a Christmas sweater contest. And I think ChatGPT should help us rank who's most to least fun. Um, huh. In preparation for this, I feel like the right move is to let Santa dance. So if uh, you're bringing your A game for the sweater contest, uh, I will do this. I feel same. a little outgunned here. <laughs> uh, so I'm a long press. 
on the camera control button, and I've got uh, the visual intelligence set up. And now we can uh, see our uh, lovely camera crew. Yeah, too. we're going to break the fourth wall for oh. a second. Can everybody wave? Hey, guys. <laughs> so let's zoom in on our little picture here. And I'm going to press this Ask button. And that'll ask ChatGPT directly. First thing it's going to do is it's just going to like identify some of the things going on in the picture. My poor Santa's got covered, so we'll see how this goes. Um, we're having a Christmas sweater contest. Make that on the left. Dave in the middle. And Sam on the right. Uh, rank. Judge? Judge. Uh, rank. Because we, we don't judge. We listen, but we rank, don't judge. Right. Uh, rank us from most to least fun. All right, moment of truth here. <laughs> Sam wins? That nah, file a bug for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm last. All the sweater features a more traditional design with a subtle festive pattern. What? Hang on, scroll down. Wait, wait, wait. All the sweaters have their charm, but Sam, Sam stands, stands out as the most fun oh with its bold cut. Let me tell you something. Someone <laughs> bought like three options for me. I had to just pick right before this which one I was going to wear. And I thought that if I was going to win, it was because it was different. <laughs> and, you know. Uh, let's make a trophy for Sam. image for Sam. I, I, was, I was not expecting this result. I really thought the LED The lights, gonna I thought were going to do something. I thought, I thought you guys were going to. Congratulations, oh. sweater champion. That's a cool. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. OK, so, so we've got the fun part of it taken care of. Uh, wind out of my sails. And I'm going to move Santa into a slow dance. Yeah. I, I just want to say I feel like that was very unjust. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Sam. Yeah. Uh, but we'll pass to Dave now, who's going to show us how we can use Apple Intelligence to get back to work. Yeah, so fun and games are over. Um, if I'm back at my Mac, uh, just like McDodd showed earlier with the iPhone, if you go into system settings, you can enable Apple Intelligence. And so uh, uh, right here, we've got Apple Intelligence enabled. And new in Mac OS 15.2 Sequoia that we didn't have before is the ChatGPT extension. So just like on the iPhone or iPad, you can use this fully anonymous or with an account. We've got here an account that we have linked. Um, and what's really cool is now that I've enabled Apple Intelligence, I can invoke Siri or writing tools from just about any application. And it's super easy to invoke Siri. So I've disabled Hey Siri so that all of the MacBooks and iPhones in this room don't <laughs> go off at once. Um, but you can type to Siri now. So if you either click on the little Siri icon on the top right or hit the uh, command key twice, it brings up the little Siri prompt. That's really cool. And again, like any time Siri thinks, ooh, this is a complex task, maybe I should get ChatGPT's help with it, it'll hand it off, it'll ask for confirmation, um, but then get uh, the help of our super powerful models to make it happen. So what are some places where we might use this? Well, um, gosh, in catching up on all of uh, our launches this week, uh, I've got here the O1 system the card. 49 page system 49 card. 49-page <laughs> PDF. So I've opened this in preview, but again, like in any application, I can just double tap the command key to bring up type to Siri. Uh, how about this? Uh, this doc is super long. Um, how did they get the model to be so good at coding? Um, oh, I spelled model wrong, yeah. that's why. You know what? I wasn't in the system card, so let me make sure we get the right credit here. So what happens is Siri recognizes, OK, this is a complex task. Let's send it off to ChatGPT. Um, but before we do, it wants to know, do we want to send any of the content that I'm looking at as part of the request? And we can either send the screenshot or the full 49-page PDF. Send it all. Send it all. At all times, <laughs> I'm in control of what I share with ChatGPT. And so now we're uploading this whole document for ChatGPT to process along with uh, my query of like, how in the world did they get this model so good at coding? Um, and awesome, there's the answer. Uh, maybe this saves me a good bit of time. Um, McDodd showed earlier on the iPhone that if you tap this little ChatGPT button down at the bottom, it will open this in ChatGPT. And that's super cool, because then I get to save it for later. I get to continue the conversation. I get to do more with it. So like one of the cool things I might do now that I have it saved here 
um, and it shows up in my sidebar over there, is, uh, um, okay. As a side note, the ChatGPT desktop app is so good now. If you've not tried <laughs> so it, yet, good. You <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I'm a more visual learner. Can we make a pie chart of the mm, respective influence of each of the techniques on making it good at coding? And so this is just picking up where we left off. It all already has the full PDF. It's able to read through it again, analyze it, um, reason about uh, how, uh, I guess, like the relative ranks and importance of uh, each of the different techniques here, and ultimately write some code to help visualize it. Cool. <laughs> um, and I'll check with our colleagues over on the reasoning team if this is representative, but this helps me better understand the paper, which is super cool. Um, so all of this from just about any application on your Mac, um, with you everywhere, in your iPhone, in your pocket. Um, and uh, we're hoping that a lot of folks who maybe are already using ChatGPT are now getting to use it uh, in more places with uh, less friction. Yeah, so we're thrilled about this launch, uh, or this release. This button makes it really easy to talk to ChatGPT. This button makes it easy for ChatGPT to look at something for you. We hope you love it. Uh, grateful to our friends at Apple, and have a good day. <laughs>